How you guys doing? Welcome back to video number 39. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and return our data that we asked for in the last video. And to do this, I'm going to use a while loop. And if this doesn't make sense right now, maybe it will in about 20 more seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and create another PHP tag. Opening PHP tags. I'm going to close it out right here. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a comment. Return the data that we asked for up here. So we were asking for all the information that uh, was in our table information. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and create our while loop. And let's go ahead and create a variable call. We can call this row or column or anything you want. And I'm going to use another PHP, excuse me, a PHP, a PHP command called my SQL fetch underscore, nope, underscore array. And then I'm going to add our variable that we created up here, the question that we asked, which is equals. I need to add another ending parentheses. And let's go ahead and echo, how are we gonna do this? I'm gonna echo column one, and I'm gonna index one, which I believe was our menu name. I think it was our menu name, that field that we created in uh, PHP my admin. And I'm gonna give it a space, so give it a space. And now I'm gonna concatenate column, Two, which I believe should be position. And I'm going to add uh, just a break tag. Nope. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this out. Okay, so let me look at this again. Okay, while our column equals MySQL fetch array equals, okay, so this is going to grab everything in our table and it's going to echo our menu name. It's going to give a space and it's also going to echo, echo the position it's in. Okay, so I don't think I need to do another variable or another uh, video to do the next step. I'm just going to go ahead and close out our connection right now. So remember our fifth step, which is close connection. This is the easy one. So I'm going to go underneath our HTML, scroll down a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and create new PHP tags. And this is the PHP function we're going to use to close out our connection. My SQL underscore close connect. That was our first variable that, that we created that opened up our server with our root name and password. And I'm going to save this. And I'm hoping to God this really works. So let's go ahead and reload it. Perfect. Okay, so we asked our database a question and then we returned it with our fourth step and then we closed it out with our fifth step. So let's do a little recap. So we created a variable that selected everything from information and then down here we used that variable right here to fetch all this information and we echoed this variable that we created, the first index as well as the second index and it gave us our Fender 1, Gibson 2, Rickenbacker 3, and Miscellaneous 4. So that's everything that we wanted. And again, I just created all right here. We could be a lot more specific with all this stuff. I mean, we could just select from the first table of information and get rid of this. But for the first video, I think kind of a less is more approach for the time being because I just want to get you guys on the same page. So everything's going to start making sense for the next video series when we're building our own content management system. Um, yeah, that's my goal. That's my goal is to get you guys all on that page. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. If nothing makes sense to you or if I didn't explain anything properly, I'd love for your feedback. So um, all right, I'll see you guys in the next video. And I think there's only one more video. So good luck with this and uh, have a